Hi there, my name is Dr. Joe Lackey, so I'm a technical specialist for LGC. LGC exclusively distribute the American Type Culture Collection in Europe and also in Africa. So I'm here today at the London Excel Center um, at the Congress uh, Drug Discovery and Research, which is um, LRIG. And I'm presenting the results of, of a pilot study between the HCMI and ATCC. So the, the HCMI is an international collaboration between Cancer Research uh, UK, the Hubrecht Organoid uh, Technology Foundation, uh, the National Cancer Institute, and the, the Wellcome Trust uh, Sanger Centre. So to give you a bit of a background in, into the issue uh, as, as it stands, for, for more than 50 years, uh, cancer research scientists have been culturing uh, cancer cells on flat plastic dishes in the lab and using these models to, to perform basic cancer research and, and to, to probe cancer. So the issue with culturing cells in this way is, is that the cells no longer uh, look like the tumours and tissues that they've actually come from. And you know, cancer being a polyclonal disease, often you, you, you might get a single uh, clonal cell that will overrun the dish. And um, so, so more recently, um, people have been using um, advanced 3D culture methods to generate more in vivo-like, uh, more relevant models. Um, using these models uh, known as organoids, you can recreate much of the, the cell and tissue architecture found in the body. And it's also it's possible to, to model clinically relevant drug responses in a much more predictive way. So the initial goal of, of the HCMI, uh, Human Cancer Models Initiative, is to develop uh, 1,000 of these models and to importantly pair them with uh, clinical data like treatment and patient outcome and additionally to, um, to look at sequencing data. You know, this is where the people like the Balkan Trust Sanger Centre come in. So we, we can understand what, what are the driving genes for these cancer and then relate that back to the research as well. So the ATCC's role in this study has been to um, really fine tune and homogenize all, all the different um, organoid protocols. And additionally to, to look how these models can be, be scaled up and assess the feasibility of this, to analyze the genetic stability of these models as they're cultured in the lab over time to ensure that you know, it's a reproducible, stable model. And also, um, importantly, to look at the ability of these models to be frozen and then to be recovered successfully with high percentage viability from prior preservation. So the results of this um, pilot study do show that these models are, are suitable for, for scaling up. And you know, we're, we're really pleased to see that so that you know, it, we'll be able to distribute them and they can be used to kickstart the next generation of a much more targeted and effective cancer treatment uh, program in terms of basic research and also in terms of um, you know, collaborations with industry and, and drug discovery.